today. Well, we're back on a politics kick, so the current political story is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has succeeded in a bid to be added to a ballot. At this point, he's on a number of ballots. At least I don't necessarily think that makes any sense. 
it seems to be more of a partisan issue, if we're honest, because RFK represents a vastly better opponent to Trump. I mean, he really does. He, he, he's really a much better adversary and would do a lot better in, you know, siphoning support away from uh, his base, uh, a lot of issues where he is, you know, really strong against Biden are ones where RFK would actually do decently well. Is actually, you know, got a bit of a fighting chance. So the fact that, you know, they're trying to make that not happen, it really kind of smacks of, you know, partisan. It, it, it smacks of basically, you know, we want the Democrat Party to win over and above, you know, not only the best candidate, but, you know, a sort of liberal person, you know, someone who agrees with our policies and ideas. Yeah, we, we want, we don't really care about that. And we also don't really care about Trump being president. We're actually not as worried about that as we would be about, I don't know, RFK being president, which is very weird. I don't know. I don't personally. I don't. I don't really understand it. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. From a, you know, policy position, I suppose the things that they're looking at are, you know, some other political bonuses that they might end up getting. That's a possibility. I, I mean, I could see that. But to be honest, I just don't see a huge amount of benefit to, you know, going against actually your, you know, best bet. Now, if you want to argue about, you know, RFK's, you know, policy stuff and go, oh, hey, you know what, this stuff doesn't actually represent uh, the things that we're really caring about, like uh, if Israel is the one no thing that you care about. Israel, Gaza, that kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, Biden, Trump, and RFK essentially all have relatively the same policy positions on that, which is to say, you know, they support Israel, probably not unquestionably, but, you know, they have no desire to burn that bridge completely. They have no desire to do that and therefore are going to manage their response to, you know, the conflict to some degree. It's just, it's, uh, it's an inevitability. Now the other side of that is, okay, if that's the one issue you're, you know, voting on and it's a principled vote, and therefore, you know, I would never vote for anyone who supports Israel. If that's the take you're going for, well, then you're not voting for president. You're not voting for a president because there is no candidate, certainly no remotely viable candidate that holds any other opinion. So, yeah, you basically just resign yourself to, you know, step out of the 2024 presidential election. That's not going to happen. But if you're worried about other things, again, the leading, you know, popular support for certain positions uh, is very clear. And to be honest, Biden seems to be on the wrong side of a lot of these, which is why the support he's going to lose to RFK, who does hold these more popular opinions, is probably going to be significant. The other side to this is, again, it shores up a lead in most states, especially battleground states, for Trump. 
this does mean that, you know, his lead, which he has generally held for a good long while at this point, uh, is being maintained and enlarged. The spoiler aspect of him, of, you know, RFK getting it on the ballot for some of these things, I don't think he'll get on the ballot everywhere, but he might do it in enough states and enough battleground states to really actually make it, you know, extra difficult and potentially really, you know, significantly embarrassing to Biden, you know, in terms of like loss numbers, uh, that it deals a significant blow to anybody who's, you know, going to try to push for, you know, similar stuff in the future. Uh, that would be, I think, the the main, you know, issue. I think that would be the thing people were probably most concerned about is that this is essentially going to be a death blow to the, you know, party politics of the Democrats, you know, progressive liberal establishment for, I mean, potentially, you know, I don't know about a generation, but, you know, a good long while, for sure. And that's really, you know, concerning to people that, you know, if you believe in that stuff, if you think that, you know, that's the best way to govern a country, well, then, hell, you're, you know, you're really worried about that. And, you know, you should be. That's, you know, that's a significant problem. That's a significant issue. That is something that really probably is going to hurt you and your, uh, you know, cause a lot for a good long while. Now, personally, I don't have as much of a uh, dog in this fight. Positionally, I agree with the most would be a libertarian candidate, almost certainly. Although I will say that, you know, sometimes they don't necessarily do the best job at articulating the positions and are not really going to help out the most. I think sometimes they can absolutely miss the point for certain things. That was definitely the case with the last, yeah, the last libertarian candidate. I just didn't really think she understood the uh, critical issues. She was much more of an academic, which generally speaking, I'm like, you know, amenable to. But in this specific circumstance, it just didn't make sense. It was just a, you know, it was just a serious problem. It wasn't going to do anything. So with that being said, I can't get over these stair mechanics. Did I just find... I was going to say, I'm like, did I just find... I sure did. Did indeed just find some d d d d d diamond. If I could find some coal... Actually, no, hang on. I'll throw this wood. I'm going to throw this wood in. Let's go ahead and dig, dig, 
So if I pop it here, is it going to go over there? I don't know. I don't trust it. I do not trust it. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Don't trust it. I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to get screwed. That's me out of politics talk because I'm just talking about Minecraft stuff now. Okie dokie. So what do you think about RFK? Is he a spoiler? Is he a spoiler? Is he a loser for the Democrats? Is this controlled opposition? Is this a huge mistake? Will this cost Biden the presidency, or will this in fact solve all of our problems and we'll all be better off for it, and it's a fantastic, wonderful, beautiful thing, because you know, in politics, that's always an option, that's definitely actually always a real option, is that one of the candidates is an actual solution to actual problems. Yeah, good luck in all your endeavors.